Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miracle Chan episode number seven. All right, the previous episode, um, another interesting episode we had. Um, we first of all, the first portion of the episode was Anna uh, moving around, you know, like helping like a, like a little kid and like stuff happened. And one of the bigger ghosts kind of got, I don't know, somehow attracted to her aura or whatever and it 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 figured out how to um <laughs> roast little ghosts and eat them roast the ghosts on hana and like it was probably like a new discovery that the ghost made like you know like caveman uh learning how to use fire <laughs> like i love that scene like you know like the ghost was putting the little ghosts on top of Hana, burning them, roasting them, and that's like popping them in their mouth. And that was fantastic. <laughs> and that's why, you know, it was like following Hana all around. And then the last uh, later portion of the episode where uh, Miko uh, takes Hana to a shrine where she, you know, kind of offers a donation and then prays to God to help them from this whole mess. And thankfully, like, I don't know what those were like there was some spirits that came out and they helped Hana and when they were unable to do anything to the big ghost they got a bigger spirit which completely destroyed the ghost now at the end the bigger ghost kind of um signed and said three times or something like that he said now that is most probably the amount of time that the ghost uh, the spirit will save uh, Miku and keep her from harm So now the question is can we renew this like three times is not much ha Miko meets ghosts each and every day every single like you know moment of her life So I doubt three times will last many days like probably a week Within a week. I'm sure something will happen and all the three turns will go So can we just renew this can we go back like you know and pray to God offer? Uh, you know like some offerings and then again get a renewal <laughs> like i'm kind of thinking it about like you know like a like a contract type of thing it, it like you know i'm not sure how it works so i'm sure the anime will tell us like if we can renew it then that's great otherwise yeah we are screwed we have to find some other ways of uh keeping you know like she has to find some other ways to keeping herself safe so <laughs> yeah but anyways yeah that was that previous episode it was fantastic so let's see what this episode brings without further ado let's get started this is episode number seven of miruko chan i'll be putting in subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go ah oh. Wait, who is this? At the beginning, I thought it was Miko. Oh, this is uh, Yulia. I was like, okay. I'm sure she also sees ghosts. Like, she also sees ghosts. So, probably. Yeah, there you go. Just what I was saying. The same problem that Miko faces. She can see it quite clearly now, I feel. There you go. That's good. Don't don't give them attention. <laughs> don't know what they can do. The godmother is all fun. <laughs> Wait, she has that as her wallpaper? <laughs> These are some weird accessories. Like oh okay, like those are hair hair ornaments. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Um Anna Sonic, okay. Yosuya, that's her okay, that's her last name. Um funny thing. I did not know this before um like i was kind of like you know in youtube kind of uh listening to this song like this opening and 
I saw the comments and there was like a lot of comments were like, oh, Aqua is like, you know, like something with Aqua. I was like, why is Aqua coming here? And then I realized Miko's voice actor is Aqua from Konosuba. And now I can hear her clearly. I can hear Aqua's voice now, now that I know that it's Aqua. <laughs> like if you, if you guys didn't know that, try to like listen, you, you can hear Aqua's voice. Yep, it is Aqua's voice. It's very clear now. Hmm. <clears throat> like, <laughs> like ghost loves, uh, like you know, Aqua can't just keep her alone, leave her alone. <laughs> Here as well. Okay, anyways. Oh, how did it? Oh wow, great. Wait, what the hell is? Why? Why do you need to... <laughs> you missed one. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm sure everyone feels like that. Yeah. Taking a selfie and like, oh damn, I'm really good at clicking pictures, aren't I? Oh my god, Miko! Miko's going to lose it. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh no. What? Okay, maybe we'll see some ghost lingering around. <laughs> Show us, please. Let's see if there's any ghost behind her. Yep, there is. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, Yulia is here. Can she see uh, it in pictures as well? Does she have that level of try to mark? <laughs> Nico Chan. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm sure she'll choose a place where a lot of ghosts come out or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> She's buttering her up. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's dying. Help her, someone. <clears throat> okay. Apprentice. Self proclaimed, I guess. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Alright, nice. A little day out, I guess. Like, you know, 
hanging around with friends. Unfortunately, um, ghosts are also accompanying them, so I guess. <laughs> I'm sure there was a ghost sitting in that bus. Miko probably saw that, and she was like, yeah, this is every day for me. Can't freak out at the slightest of things, so let's just ignore it. <laughs> oh my god, she's she's taking them somewhere where a lot of ghosts come out. Is he eating Pocky? What? Hmm. <laughs> Three hundred yen. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, if we are able to reach the other side. <laughs> hmm. Well, she has a good poker face, so I doubt she'll actually let it show in on her face. So, yeah. Don't they have any light source, a torch or something? What the hell? Like... Like, at least bring out a flashlight. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh my god, this this girl is paranoid. <laughs> okay, this girl sees a <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god yeah it's not that of a big deal yep <laughs> oh no okay I can see a lot of misunderstandings coming oh boy oh there they are <laughs> well, yeah, let's. Oops, but I think you get yeah. there. You go. Oh, my God, the talent, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh. Uh, hmm. What? Damn, this girl has... Okay. <laughs> Super aesthetic. Oh, wow. There you go. He also wants to take a picture. That's so nice. Oh, this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, why not Yulia? Okay. <laughs> well, she she has a good poker face. She can keep it. And Yeah, definitely. Wow. <laughs> the gold are also doing some <laughs> These ghosts are like damn kids these days. <laughs> no manners. Oh, oh great. Now there's a big one coming. Great. What the? Oh boy. Hmm. What the? What is that? Yeah. Can Yulia see this? Because uh, I remember like the previous episode where Yulia wasn't able to see the bigger ghost. Probably because it was outs outside her capabilities or something. Can she see this? That's the question here. This big one. Mm. Can she see it? No. Oh no. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh, this thing. Yulia can see it. There you go. I think so. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you can. Oh my god. Come on. The misunderstandings in this episode. Well, hopefully this will make her think that yeah, she's the real deal and she'll stop these type of No. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> no, stop, please. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she can just say that they're... Okay. Oh, no. Whoa, what's happening? What the? What? Why is this? Oh, this thing is like a spider. Oh, never mind. It's not a spider. Great. Okay, this is bad, I think. Yeah, this this is really bad. Yeah. Wow. Don't don't look at them. Oh my god, this girl. Don't look at them. Oh my god. Oh my god. She'll be like, yeah, I was able to do it. Um. Oh no. I th I think this time we needed the help of those those spirits. 
Oh no. Yeah, this. Oh boy. Here we go. We need the help. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, this. Maybe the ghost will be like, you know what? Oh. Oh, never mind. I was going to say maybe it'll leave them alone or something. Like, we never saw before what the ghost did. Okay. There you go. As I said. We need the help this time. Alright. Two more times, I guess. Okay, this time these two were able to exercise it. That's nice. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, they. Okay. Two more times, I think. Excuse me. Yeah. One? Well, wasn't it two? What? Oh, I think. Oh, like the three that they showed was. Um, or was it two? Like two of them put one finger. So was it two or was it one? Yeah, it's the number of times they'll help you. Three times. Oh, was it three more times or was it okay? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! All right. Hmm. Yeah, people never like, you know, believed her. <laughs> Mrs. D. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mushroom muffin. Yeah, she likes mushroom. I think like in her room as well. There were mushroom. Set as wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> All right. That was nice. Ooh. I guess the happy ending. Okay. The thing that actually. Um, I'm still not sure about is was it uh, the previous episode the the spirit said three times so was it three times including that time or was it three more times I thought up until now I thought it was three more times but now I think it's probably three times including that so that means it was two more times and we get them here again helping so then one more time it's probably something like that because yeah it, it is probably something like that so yeah we'll see Well, looking at these ghosts in the ending, it's so funny looking at them. They're just, you know? <laughs> oh my god. 
I never knew like there could be something like a horror comedy like <laughs> and yeah okay this oh there's still something left all right let's see mushroom muffin yes sitting beside you oh boy is she going to feed it or something <laughs> that'll be funny <laughs> what dies <laughs> hana eats stuff and her aura increases Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, enough. No more misunderstandings. Um okay. Oh my god, for a moment there I thought <laughs> the little ghost <laughs> that was on Yulia's shoe, I was like, wait a minute, is she going to feed it or something? <laughs> I don't know why I even thought that. It looked like some kind of a little animal, you know, like on top of her feet and she would be like, you know, she was holding a muffin and I thought like she would be like, take a little <laughs> piece out and <laughs> feed it. <laughs> I don't know why I even thought of that, but that's funny. Anyways okay <laughs> so <clears throat> all right uh so yeah as i was saying like i never thought like a horror comedy could be even even be a thing like you know like <laughs> and yeah we get something like that here and it's <laughs> like this is great i i love this show okay um anyways uh this episode here we see how um yulia is we can see how much of a big fan she was in a way you can call it of the godmother and she's like yeah i'll i'll see how much worthy she actually is um miko actually is and then she hatches her plan to actually lure them to some place where you know like these ghosts will be now one thing i think about is the reason why she's so reckless and i was kind of thinking like why is she so reckless doesn't she get afraid like what was going to happen if these ghosts actually somehow attack them or something like isn't there any type of fear that she has like miko is fearful of these ghosts and it's very natural to me if you see these type of things so how can she just you know like take them somewhere where it's like this and then i actually realized that this girl yulia probably has been seeing ghosts for quite a long while even longer than miko so she's a lot more used to ghosts than miko and then there's another factor playing here um she is never able to see the bigger ghosts which are actually the dangerous the most scary ones so like it's probably because of that that she's so reckless like she's been with these type of things she's been seeing these type of things for a long while she got so accustomed to them that she's like yeah like nothing will happen let me just take them to this place but i don't know if she was able to see i'm sure like if she was able to see the bigger ghosts which are actually these type of scary monsters like looks like some kind of final boss in resident evil game or something like these uh, monsters they they actually <laughs> if if yule was able to see these ghosts i'm sure she would actually hesitate in doing these type of stuff she's unable to see them like i like it's kind of funny to <laughs> to uh like you know to think about another thing is that these ghosts have like a like a level requirement i guess like if you need to be a certain level to be able to see them like yulia is not <laughs> and yulia is not that like you know higher level so she's unable to see them while miko is like i don't know like overpowered or like max leveled or something that's why she's able to see these ghosts these bigger ghosts like it's actually weird to like you know like see that these ghosts have these type of restrictions requirements as well like damn like 
<laughs> and it does make sense in a way you know because like like the normal people they can't see ghosts at all because they don't have any kind of um what do you call it like special abilities or some kind of properties they have they have none of them that's why sure they're unable to uh, see the ghosts like if you if you put it in levels like you know they're probably level zero or something so if yulia is like a level five or something you know like she's able to see the mid middle and the smaller ghosts and if uh, miko is level 10 she's able to see the bigger ghosts so it does make sense if you think of it in that way you know like as uh, like the the stronger your ability is the more you'll be able to see the more dangerous ghosts now there's one thing that i'm thinking about now um who knows maybe there are actually something even dangerous than these things that miko see you know which miko isn't unable to see maybe there is even more dangerous ghost that she's unable to see because her uh, ability is not powerful it won't surprise me you know like maybe in the future like some some other character will come who is even more proficient in this than miko and who has even more a bigger ability level and maybe they'll be able to see some other ghosts as well which miko isn't able to see which are even more dangerous than them it won't surprise me actually because yeah like we can see like the way this works actually so anyways all right so here in this episode um hana <laughs> hana is like yeah like i'm such a great photographer like i can do some something and like that's that's like a very relatable um thought process i think like i'm sure like sometimes in some like you know definitely in some moments of uh, uh someone's life i'm sure someone must have at least thought of this once like look at their picture that they uh, snapped and they'll be like oh damn i am actually pretty good at taking pictures maybe i can be a photographer i'm sure everyone has actually felt this at least one time in their life who take photos and who like you know took a selfie or maybe took some picture like i at least uh, myself i was kind of thought of this as well but then i realized that nah this is just <laughs> i'm trash I, I i can't do this like these photos everyone takes i'm not i'm not a special person so <laughs> like hana's um reaction was very relatable i have to say when she was like oh damn like maybe maybe i am actually good at this <laughs> and yulia was like yeah i got my chance let's just use this to lure them into a place where i'll be able to show my abilities and i'll be able to judge miko <clears throat> so yeah now the tunnel like first of all <laughs> that's uh I'm, I'm guessing that's an abandoned tunnel or something like i don't know like that was like one of the most darkest tunnel i've ever seen like what the hell like uh, like isn't there any kind of lighting in that i i guess as i said probably an abandoned tunnel and <laughs> and i <laughs> I think most probably Yulia never mentioned that she's going to bring them in a place like this. That's why none of them had a flashlight. Like they just walked in with nothing, no light source. And <laughs> oh my god, yeah. And anyways, okay, we uh, they get in and the misunderstandings start. Yulia starts thinking that oh, the little things that Miko is doing, everything like hides a deeper meaning miko <clears throat> you know miko kind of falls down kind of stumbles or like you know like puts her hand on the ground she's like oh she's erecting a barrier and like <laughs> she waves her hand she's like oh she's exercising the, these ghosts like she she <laughs> i'm sure she watches a lot of anime like damn like <laughs> how, <laughs> how can people misunderstand stuff like that but you know yeah she was she was just thinking that yeah like i need to see how miko is capable enough how much miko is capable <coughs> so again we can see the lack of fear in yulia you know because again as i said she's been accustomed to this a lot more than miko had because she's been seeing this for quite a long while i'm not sure from when she's been seeing this but we kind of saw flashbacks of her talking with her school friends about this so i guess this has been with her for quite a long while 
and <clears throat> like that probably is the reason why she's so fearless she just looks at the ghost and she's like yeah this is normal and Miko's also kind of like that she, you know like she also kind of acts very nonchalantly at the middle like you know, at the smaller and the middle sized ghosts not those huge ghosts that the huge one that came out later on in, in a it was i'm not sure what it was in like it was like in a red what was that like a red barrel i think yeah it was inside a red barrel like i think i don't know like i think like <laughs> like all these ghosts like these bigger ones it looks like some like ghosts from some video games like i feel like i'm sure like the the author probably took uh like an inspiration from uh like uh from these like for example for example resident evil games and like like these ghosts that we see they are very what can i say looks like something like that like if you see these ghosts you feel as if like they're some kind of a last boss of some horror game it feels like that and it's like you know the designs are very interesting i have to say and especially like you know the one of the previous episodes where we saw the the one with the the big one like you know the i can't remember how it looked like <clears throat> the one through which hana went like you know miko had to go through the ghost you know remember in that alleyway that ghost that bigger one um that one this one these looks like some kind of uh you know like boss character in a video game <laughs> in a horror video game and yeah like these designs are really interesting Okay, and <clears throat> all right. So obviously, ha Yulia isn't able to see that, and she's like, "Oh, damn! Hana is uh, Miko is able to exercise this ghost just by waving around her hand, and she's so good at it. She's just like you know, just exercising each and everything. Whereas it was the bigger ghost which was just eating them. Now here's another thing that is kind of interesting, and we saw this before as well." ghosts actually eat other ghosts like excuse me i don't know like i think like this is like a new thing like i've never seen like i've seen i've played video games and i've played i've, I've seen a few my fair share of horror uh animes and movies as well i guess but i've never seen anything where a ghost eats another ghost like i've never seen something like that or did i uh I don't know i can't remember but i'm very like you know like in, in even in the previous episodes where we see the bigger ghost eating the ghost and then there's this th that other ghost was frying the other ghost and eating them like like i can't remember if i've actually seen ghosts eating ghosts in other like you know other forms like in other probably in a video game or something i probably have seen them i can't remember basically but one thing i've definitely now never seen is like ghosts roasting other ghosts and eating them after cooking them like that's that's something that's completely new which i was really impressed with in the previous episode <laughs> but anyways all right um so yeah um, like this is a co common thing here yeah? like ghosts eat ghosts like especially bigger ones they're kind of like fishes i guess like you know bigger fish eat smaller fish <laughs> something like that <laughs> i don't know but yeah like this this ghost was eating them and it was getting bigger and bigger and here is the question the question is answered finally what will happen if a ghost actually realizes that you can see it well um i kind of guess that it will be not good you know the result will not be good and yeah i was correct it was not good it it got mad and started attacking them basically and so yeah we have the answer now like there was there was this kind of a thing going on like there was I, 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 for a moment there i also kind of even thought like what if if the ghosts realize that nico can see them maybe they'll get afraid or run away or something you know there's there's a time that like there were there were times when i actually thought that as well but we finally have the answer now and we know what not to do don't let a ghost realize that you can see it so just you know <laughs> just ignore them like miko does and yeah um this ghost because of yulia's i don't know delusions and her misunderstandings this ghost almost killed them every all of them and almost killed yulia as well i don't know what would have happened there 
if you know like the attack actually got them but thankfully um uh, miko had her uh, contract with the spirits the spirits came in and this time the spirits did not exercise the bigger ghost i think it was probably too strong to exercise or something and it was like in a dark place so i think it just ran away inside the more darker place that's how it was able to run away unlike the previous episode where it was like in the middle of the shrine where it was easy to exercise it and you know and the sun was shining but here it was like in the middle of a tunnel so i guess they kind of stopped it and the ghost kind of freaked out and just ran away now <clears throat> thankfully like you know like the contract was there and it helped them out so we still have one more chance i'm, I'm not sure if that was two or one like both of them put out one finger each so was that two or was that one i'm not sure but it's either two or one like so like two more times or one more time they're going to help and i don't know what's going to happen after that like how what will she even do because yeah these <laughs> these chances are getting <laughs> Like you know, expiring very easily. Like previous episode, one, one of one one of them, like you know, one of the tries, uh, got used up. This episode, another try got used up. So yeah, it's going to go get over very soon. The contract is going to expire. So hopefully we can renew that. But yeah, anyways, um, we get out of the that place that hellhole <laughs> and it's nice to see that you know like yulia yulia was basically kind of trying to i don't know like trying to because of her like you know like she was like yeah i'm the best uh like you know top most fan of the god godmother whatever and she was like yeah i need to see her capabilities she basically came because of that but while like you know returning she was able to realize that yeah this was probably my first time actually i think so first time first time actually hanging out with friends because she never had any uh since she used to tell them that yeah i can see ghosts and everyone used to say like oh she's trying to get attention don't talk to her so it was nice to see that you know she she has friends now and she can just hang out around with them and she replaced the godmother picture with the new picture <laughs> yeah that's good and after the credits we see them eating and here's one thing um so we saw this before as well so <laughs> anna powers up after eating like what is this even like she gains holy power or whatever that aura because she eats i think that's life energy yeah they kind of said that that's life energy or something like that so i think probably because she eats she gains that for a momentary minute and you know like so i think i don't know like her eating is good i guess because all the ghosts will probably run away so i don't know i'm still not sure but there's one thing that we know, yeah, like any ghost who touches Hana is probably going to get burnt. And if they're like smaller ghosts, they'll completely get roasted and annihilated. So, yeah. And <laughs> Yulia was able to realize that as well. Like she was kind of curious. She was thinking like, why are the ghosts so much? Like, oh, I realized another thing. I, I was saying like, why did she, like, you know, why was she not fearful of that whole situation? Why did she bring them to such a dangerous place i realized another thing as i said like um, you know like she's used to all of this and she never see bigger goals so she is not that much concerned about them but there's another thing that was playing here all these ghosts never come this much in this amount she never knew that she never knew that hana actually attracts them so i thought she I, like i think like she thought that if she goes to that tunnel there'll probably be one or two ghosts she probably thought of it something like that but little did she know that Hana had had this weird attracting attractor field or whatever, like you know, magnetic power that attracts these ghosts, and there will be not there will be not two, but hundreds of ghosts inside that, not hundreds but tens and twenties of ghosts, and there will be like a bigger one. So that was another reason why she she wasn't that much concerned. 
Like she wasn't able to gauge the actual danger level. Because she did not know Hana's ability. And now she knows that. She realizes what was happening here. And yeah. But anyways, everything kind of ends in a good note. But unfortunately, Yulia's misconceptions about Miko still hasn't gone away. She thinks that Miko wants to beat her up. <laughs> but yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know if it ever will get... Um, uh, what do you call it? Cleared the misunderstanding. But hopefully someday. So yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to Miruko chan episode number 7. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Miruko chan Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.